come to the Apothecary and get inspired. Something's on my mind. It's been for quite some time. And this time I'm on to you. So where's the other face? The face I heard before. Your head trips over me. Let's nick the bridge we torched two thousand times before. This time I'll blast it all to hell. I've had this burning in my guts now for so long. Goodness, it's a beautiful day. I can't wait, we're going down to Naflavka. Get some groceries, or at least some nice fresh possessions and see what else is going on. Come to the Apothecary and get inspired. I had no intention of cooking today until I found beautiful peppers. I know there's cilantro right over here. I'll make some salsa today. It's mushroom soup, a bit of a stretch for breakfast. Well, I'm thinking of it as a delicious brunch instead. Gadget Heracross. Chop. I think it's. Oops. Right over there. That's worth going for, right? Is this thing? Oh, there he goes. that's here in Europe to the 110 that we know and love. This way, it doesn't blow up. Seeing these fresh ingredients in Nublovka really inspired me to make salsa. 
just laying out what I've picked up there and what I'll be using for this salsa. I've got seven, or actually six, jalapenos that are fresh. Got a variety of dried peppers. Got cilantro that we've already removed from the stems. Removing the stems are, is critical, otherwise you get like these stringy hairs that you don't want that in salsa. Um, I have to say I'm a fan of getting the canned uh, diced or canned whole tomatoes. I make my salsa in the blender. Uh, I find these just as easy, but to do it the real way and give it a little freshness, uh, I have water boiling on the stove right now. I'm gonna blanch these tomatoes. Got a couple of onions, probably won't use all of them. I've already taken off half of this uh, garlic uh, and a little Himalayan rock salt, though any good salt is uh, acceptable and to help temper the heat, the lime juice. Um, just keep in mind whenever you're doing this, whether you're using uh, jalapeno serranos or something a little bit hotter, the coolest that your salsa will ever be is the day that you make it. As soon as you put it in the fridge, there's time for the capsaicin to leach out of the seeds and that will take, you know, a fairly mild salsa and make it quite hot. Or it'll make a salsa that was made quite hot and make it a little bit painful, something you might have to cut one-to-one -one with pace. Blanched tomatoes mean that the skins have popped and are easy to come right off. While the pan is still hot from blanching the tomatoes, what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw the peppers in to give them a little scald. Be sure to poke holes in the peppers so that they don't explode. Load the cilantro on the bottom, or load, load it in first. Gen 3 is being released, huh? Or at least in part. It's cool. I'm excited. It means there'll actually be, you know, non-meta activities to do.